This is my new vintage Carter Leaf. It is blue. This is the chuck that came with the leaf. It is round. This is a homemade chucky. It fits the chuck. And this is a very small chucky that also fits the same chuck. So what's going on here? I'm not sure, but I'm thinking these uh, small screws can perhaps be used to true up the chuck. Unfortunately, they uh, seem to be seized up, and that means it's time to take this thing apart. But before we open up this thing, let's check for runout. If this can be trued up, it's good to have a reference point on video. Well, that's almost three tenths of a millimeter runout. Quite a lot. I got a piece of hex stock in the chuck jaws and I'm using it to uh, grip it in the vise. I'm gonna get some sockets. Not very tight. Not tight at all. Looks pretty mangled up. Wonder why that is. Yeah. That went a lot easier than I expected. There are some numbers here. 1G30, 10. 5A with uh, with a bagging plate removed these uh, three little screws came out pretty easy no extra leverage was needed these look to be designed to push against something There it is, the insides. So this looks to be a chuck that can be retrued. Only this is not a three jaw within a four jaw, it's a three jaw within a three jaw design. Here's a look inside the chuck. All pretty standard. Doesn't look too bad. There's some dried up grease. But that can happen after. Well, if it came with the lathe when new, it could be well 80 years old, maybe 90. But I uh, doubt that. So this is how it works. You loosen up these three bolts a little, then you screw up the chuck using these screws, and then tighten everything up again. Should be easy enough. But I guess we're gonna find that out later. And there's the scroll. Slash gear. Brown gear. Rack gear. Round rack. I don't know how it's called. These are all the parts before cleaning. Now I gotta do some de rusting, some polishing, some uh, de smurfing of the uh, blue color. I'll leave it like this. Good enough for me. I'm using a bit of acid to uh, remove some rust. I'm not sure what it is, but it's a little stronger than uh, vinegar and a bit weaker than uh, um, hydrochloric acid. It's pretty safe to use. If you get it on your hands, it will bite after a while. So uh, you gotta 
watch out for that and uh, well just don't drink it this is taking me too long most of the uh, upper layer of loose rust is gone and that's what's important because I don't want that stuff getting into the uh, gearing there's only one easy way to do uh, de-rusting and uh, that's to have somebody else do it for you you see the last bit it starts to bind up and it's uh, and it's really hard to seat it properly ag against uh, the register after some grinding with uh, my trusty adrenal it now uh, treads on much easier another little problem solved before I put this thing back together I'm gonna run this super Arkansas stone out of Nuremberg Germany over the face of the uh, chuck there, um, there is some lettering here um, there are six patent numbers for six different countries oh, then there is probably a name of the well seller maker uh, on here and the word Amsterdam I'll uh, add it in some pictures if you uh, want to try and uh, decipher this well that's good enough for me here are all the uh, parts after a, a bit of a cleanup so now uh, I need to put it back together I'm putting a bit of bearing grease on the gear here or the what's it called I'm not using any uh, grease on the, on the scroll I think uh, that only attracts uh, metal uh, shavings little grease in the holes here for uh, these things the location of these things doesn't matter put a light coat of oil on here to prevent it from rusting and that way it will um, slide a bit easier when uh, adjusting the uh, uh, run out backing plate Unfortunately, I have to reuse these uh, terrible looking screws. I couldn't find any uh, new ones. These, uh, these are metric with a pitch of 1.25 and they are M6. Although they are just a bit bigger than most normal M6 screws, which I find odd. But for now they'll have to do. Let's see. 
and last but not least the jaws. These uh, they still look pretty good. The uh, the serration is still all there. They don't look bell mouthed. The outside jaws appear to have been hit at some point. I don't know what happened there. Looks like I gotta take it apart again. Well, I got it back together. The uh, the start of the scroll was uh, hitting the uh, slots for the uh, jaws, so I uh, took a little off on the grinder. Now it's fine. So now I gotta find out if I can uh, adjust this thing to run through. Well, I was hoping for zero run out, but uh, I guess I made it worse for now. I already got it uh, to run a little better, but this is, uh, well, this thing is pretty hard to dial in. I got it running pretty close to true. Uh, before I tightened up the bolts, it was a bit better. The procedure that I used to uh, throw this thing up was find the uh, the high spot closest to a uh, screw here and then tighten up the next one and then do the same thing all over again I think I might be able to do a little better but uh, I just about had enough of this thing but from uh, 3 tenths of a millimeter to 3 hundredths of a millimeter is quite a big improvement I'm happy with this. The end.